Hello, my name is Brian Fisher. I'm an NX application engineer here at ProLim out of the Cincinnati office. Today we'll be going over NX 1953, NX Structure Designer. Here's a little bit of my bio. I have 20 plus years with NX and Team Center experience, 15 years as a designer in the aircraft industry, and five plus years in design, designer in the medical industry. Today on our agenda, we'll be going over Structure Designer, which is a new application that was released in NX 1926. We'll be looking at the frame create, add members, library, the edit corners, in gaps, gusset, and so on. Let's go ahead and jump into NX. Here you can see under the what's new, NX Structure Designer was introduced in NX 1926. There has been a few enhancements that have been added since 1953. Now let's jump into a file and start using Structure Designer. Here's a file that I've created. This is just a new part. We're going to go in application and under more we now have this new application called Structure Designer. This allows us to quickly go in and create structures and frames, I-beams, such, and um, maybe even tubing. So right here we have our Structure Designer. We come in. If you already have a sketch, you can utilize an old sketch. If not, you do have this nice little feature called frame. This allows me to quickly come in and create a frame. Let's go ahead and put 40 on that. So now we have our frame size here. And additionally, I can come in and select curves and copy curves or move curves. So if I wanted, for example, this to be a shelf down here later on, I can come in, bring this up, and now I have the beginning of a frame. Let's go ahead and add some cross beams to this. Just by using the line command, I can come in here, select my points, and go in and create my framework here that I'm going to use in a few minutes here to use my um, add some members. So under the member here, we have a pretty good library that allows us to use multiple different types of tubing, angle iron, hex solid. Additionally within there, you have different material here still in aluminum. You have different grades. So for this particular one, I'm going to use a pretty thick round solid. And we're going to go ahead and pick our legs here. And the nice thing about this is you can flip the X and Y, but I'm going to go ahead and utilize this here and pick the center. And I'm going to go around and do the rest with these legs. Once I have these legs created, I'm going to go ahead and do a few different types of materials and maybe a solid uh, square piece up at the top, maybe some angle iron, just to show differences that we can put in here. And this will go in and actually miter everything for us, but we will have the option to change those corners. So here we have the beginning of our frame. Let's go ahead and change our material. This time we're going to go with a square solid. Uh, we'll go with a three inch also. And this time I want to do an offset of negative 1.5 because I want my tube to be across the middle here. And we'll go ahead and pick these other ones real quick. And you'll notice as I go in and do this, it retains that height of that sketch that I told it to retain. And you also see that these corners miter at this time. We'll go ahead and apply this. You'll see it trim everything up for us. Next, I'm going to go and pick a different material again. This time, let's do an angle iron. With that angle iron, I'm going to have a take this back to zero. And we're going to pick this here. Maybe I want to flip that angle iron so we can have a little shelf there later on. Go in and pick those. And we'll apply that. I'm going to go ahead and pick these also as an angle iron. When we get done with it, you'll see that it trims everything up for us, miters everything that we want, but we do have the option within our structure designer here to actually come in and pick these different structures if we want to change those, or we can even edit the corners. So in this case, I have a corner right here. I want to go at it. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. I'm going to make this corner a smart extend instead of a butt, and you'll see that it comes in and trims that up for me. 
if we look in our structure designer here and we look at the uh, members and we expand this out a little bit, you'll see it gives us our cross section with type we have, our size, and our cut lengths. These will show up later on when we go in to create a drawing. We have the option to add those different columns. Now that we have our basic frame shape, let's go ahead and add some gussets, some feet, stuff like that. So up here in our, um, we have this option for gussets. Much like the other um, options within here for the members, we have different stock that we can choose from. We can change those stock's value. We can change the grade of it, the size of it here. So let's go ahead and add these real quick. So the first one I want to do is I want to add a gusset here. Apply that. Notice right now I don't have an offset, so it sets right in the middle of it. And we'll continue to do that throughout the part here. Once we have this done, I'll go ahead and I'll add some feet. And we'll go ahead and add some, um, some grab tabs all to also. So here we have our gussets now. Well, let's say somebody came up and they wanted the design change, though, and we wanted to change this member right here. We have the ability to come over here and select that member. And we're going to go ahead and make this one a round two, for example. Uh, let's go ahead and find a one that's pretty similar to what we have here. Three inch. And now we have our tube here. So at this time, you could come in and you also have the ability to do in caps. This particular one, we're going to select it. And go ahead and apply it. Now we have our in caps there. Now if they came back and said we did not want that, we have the ability to come in here and delete our in cap. And it will give us a little warning here. Not actually a warning, but just information telling us basically alert that we're getting rid of that particular part. And then we could come back and we could change it back to what we want. And we'll go back to our three inch part here. So that shows you how quick and easy we can go in there and actually change these members. And we can modify this part pretty quickly. So next step here, let's go into our open use li reuse library here. In that reuse library, I have some feet already that I put in there. And these mountain feet, we're able to come in here. We got a square one, a round one, and a triangle. I'm going to go ahead and use the square ones here. And we'll change the value here to four. And you'll notice that it squares up and it puts it right where I need it to be. And we'll do that with the rest of these real quick. And once we have this done, I'm going to put what we call a grab tab. These basically are tabs that I can put at the top of this that allow us to be able to uh, pick this up with a crane or whatever type of um, overhead, maybe a CG bar or something like that that you may need. And you can see how quick and easy these are to put in. I mean, I'm just going in and quickly putting this in. And within a matter of a few moments, we have ourselves a pretty good frame here. And again, it does add the members here, adds all the information, also adds your gussets, and it adds your mountain feet also. So that will be information that we can bring into a drawing here in a little bit. Let's next look at our um, grab tabs here. These grab tabs... You have a few different ones that you can select from also in here. Much like the other ones, we have a little bit of different stocks that we can pick, a triangle, rectangle, and so on. For this particular one, I'm going to use the triangle. You first go in and you select your face. We're going to pick our reference curves. And it's going to put it right where we need it to be. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And now we have ourselves a pretty good frame that we can come in and weld later on. So now we've gone and shown you how the structure designer works. I showed you how the frame create, how you can take your um, existing sketches or you can add a frame, add lines and curves to be able to add different members. I showed you the different members in the library. Additionally, I showed you some ability to be able to go and edit those corners as needed. We also went in and looked at the end caps, showed you how you can change those members from a solid to a 
hollow part or whatever type of frame part you may need, what type of member you need. And then we added some gussets and we added some grab tabs. Now the next step on this we want to do is we want to get into the drawing portion. We're going to create as a drawing. We're going to add as the, the um, tri trimetric view in and then we're going to go and add a parts list. Now back in an X, let's go ahead and add our drawing. We'll start off by starting a new file here. I'm going to go to my drawing tab and reference existing part. It'll come up where we want to populate um, information for the title block. Now your um, title block may be different. This is out of the box. Depends on your company, how your company set up. Go ahead and populate this information real quick. And then it'll bring us into where we want to place our view. We're going to go with an isometric view, about a quarter scale. Place our view. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to come to our parts list here. This is going to populate all of those beams, the gussets, the feet. It's going to go and populate all that information right here when I go in to do this. And I'm going to go in to show my balloons. And additionally, I'm going to come into satins here. And I'm going to add a column. This column here I'm just going to add is for, let's go ahead and do a cut link. So I'll come in, add, add it. It's going to be a general call out. Go find my attribute here. So we have our cut length here, and I'm going to go ahead and add that. And once I place this, it's going to populate our parts list along with the cut length and balloon the parts out for us. So you can see here, there's our part name, the quantities, and then we have our cut length for anything that had a cut length on it. Additionally, it goes in and auto balloons it out. So now we have a drawing that we can come later on and add maybe, maybe some weldments later on, but right now we're gonna um, end this here and on our next webinar, we will jump into using the weld enable, I mean weld assistant. I'd like to thank everybody for attending this webinar. For more information, you can contact me on my email there, brian.fisher at prolim.com. Additionally, if you have not done so, please go to our ProLim YouTube channel and subscribe. Within that YouTube channel, we do have a lot of information. Not only on NX, we additionally have information for Team Center, Sim Center, Solid Edge, a lot of other Siemens products. You can do a search there and you can find information. This is where we will be putting our webinar once we post them. Additionally, we do have videos on there for tricks and tips and additional information that you may be finding interested in. All you have to do is subscribe and you will be getting notifications when you will, when we post information such as this. Thanks again, everybody. Thanks for attending. And I hope everybody have a good day. Right now, I'm going to open this up for discussion and questions.